Brad, FR5ED, here with a beer review. Something very different for me. This is Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Stout. I do love my IPAs and double IPAs. Those are my standard go-to craft beer. But I also like stouts and imperial stouts. And, uh, you know, that's kind of my secondary uh, favorite. So this is one I'm not familiar with at all. And so we're going to check it out. On rate beer, it's overall rated at 89 uh, with only 31 in style. I don't understand that. But anyway, um, it's um, 8 points, nope, right at 8% ABV. And the commercial description is thus. Barrels that once contained world-famous Kentucky bourbon lend a sweet hint of caramel and vanilla to dark roasted malts and finish with the essence of a lightly roasted coffee. The barrel-aged flavors native to Kentucky complement this complex stout brewed and aged with Haitian coffee to create a bourbon county, to create the bourbon country's own Kentucky bourbon barrel stout. Um, on Beer Advocate, it's rated at an 83 after 159 ratings. Um, back up to rate beer that was after 63 ratings. So anyway, not sure what to expect at all, except you know what they mentioned there. And let's see how that works. Back to my my trusty old standby bottle opener. There we go. And <clears throat> not using my IP, IPA glass, I'll be using my snifter for this. So here we go. Oh my, it's darker than an IPA. Surprise, surprise. Got a nice, well, I shouldn't say nice. There's not much of a head forming on this, but that was always an issue in the snifter anyway. Okay, but it's a, it's a tan head, what little bit formed. And color-wise, <laughs> trying to look through the thin edge of the glass, it's just still so dark that my light source is not coming through at all. It's very deep, oily, black, dark, like a stout or porter usually is. This is uh, definitely a stout at 8%, may, maybe qualifies as a, an imperial or a double. I smell the dark roasted malt. I smell the coffee. Smell the dark chocolate. Mouth is watering. Common elements in a in a an imperial stout, especially, are the, all these caramelly molasses, dark chocolate, coffee. Well, and there's additional coffee because they actually use Haitian coffee in the brewing of it. But uh, those are a lot of the the regular aromas that that I've gotten from uh, stouts and especially imperial stouts. I almost smell a little bit of cedar in there too. They don't mention that at all, but uh, it's, a, it's very interesting, very complex aroma. Let's give it a taste. Wow, so much going on. The dark, the dark roasted malt. There's a little bit of sweetness there. It's not. It's a heavier mouthfeel. Not as heavy as, as some of the imperial stouts I've had. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness. Get a little bit of the vanilla. Coffee, definitely. Not overpowering, and it's not like you would pick it up and say, oh, they put a bunch of coffee in this. It's it's very, very balanced. There's a oak. There's, oh, that's right. <laughs> it's in oak barrels. I was going to say there's an oak taste in there. Well, certainly, because it was done in the barrels. Um, they mentioned the vanilla. They mentioned, um, what else? Brewed age with Haitian coffee. World famous kind of a hint of caramel. Caramel. I'd almost say more like molasses than caramel. You know, molasses is not super sweet like caramel is, and this is not, there's a sweet edge to it, but it's not as sweet as some imperial stouts, uh, you know, tend to be, especially if they've, you know, been aged in a barrel. Anyway, it's it's nice. I don't know, it got an 89 overall on, on rate beer and an 83 at Beer Advocate. I'm a fan of 
uh, old Rasputin Imperial Stout, for example. Um, in fact, I've had a couple recently. I think I have one more out there. And I don't think this falls far behind that. And old Rasputin's highly regarded. So I'm not sure about the ratings on this. And why it's 31 in style on Reed Beer. Don't get that. I like it. It's got a lot going on, I'll have to say that. Hmm. I definitely like it. There are some, uh, st oh, for example, Dogfish had 60 chicory stout. I mean, there's there's some of these that have coffee and chicory added, and it's evident. This, to me, is subtle. It's like it's it's giving you the essence of the coffee without making you think or realize that there actually has been coffee added. Um, you could almost attribute it to the dark roasted malt. So anyway, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Stout. I like it. I would get it again. So I recommend you try it. This is Fred, FR5ED, over and out.